at Tapasco County and the power of social media. Two total strangers with a whole lot in common coming together in a surprise meeting. We first told you about Pasco County firefighter Pete Bignotti last month. He's battling a rare, debilitating nervous system disease. ABC Action News reporter Kara Mashik tells us how he's now found a friend far away who is helping him get through. This all started when the owner of this local restaurant here in Pasco County happened to see the ABC Action News story about firefighter Pete Bignotti, diagnosed with a rare medical condition, and one of his friends in New Jersey also happened to have that same rare medical condition. Pete Bignotti got the surprise of a lifetime Saturday when Ken Buck showed up at his friend's restaurant in Hudson. Wow. Ken Buck and Pete Bignotti have only known each other about a month. First connecting on Facebook after Buck saw his friend share Pete's story and realized the two had an awful lot in common. They are both former police officers wounded on the job, suffering from PTSD, and diagnosed with a rare nervous system disorder. Buck's wife encouraged him to reach out to Big Naughty, and instantly a friendship was formed. I was happy, and it made me feel good inside to actually help Pete through uh, his time in the hospital and inpatient rehab. Pete says Kent's friendship has meant the world. From day two in the hospital, Ken's been there. He's been, I mean, in my good times, my bad times, the depression that comes along with this, he's a phone call away. He's like a brother from another mother, basically. Ken knew he wanted to visit Pete in person, and thanks to the generosity of fellow law enforcement and teaching friends of he and his wife in New Jersey, a GoFundMe page they'd set up to purchase a specialty bed raised more than enough, allowing them to also afford a trip to Florida so these two could meet face-to-face. -face. Ken says the mission, paying it forward. I wanted to help him out, and uh, I wanted to just raise awareness for transverse myelitis. Uh, especially uh, in this area where it's not well known. It, it's very humbling. I, I can't say thank you enough. And there's plenty that you can still do to help. Both men have GoFundMe pages and a benefit for Pete Bignotti is planned for right here at Kick and Wings coming up in November. We'll put all that information for you with this story on our website. For now in Pasco County, Karamashik, ABC Action News.